I, in terms of you know yourself, what do you think of the Bhangra industry right now? I mean, there's there's a couple of there's a couple of camps, you know, where there's a lot of people saying, do you know what, we're just going to do singles, and we're happy where we are in the UK. You know, we like that, we like that audience. A lot of people saying. It's all about albums. You want credibility, you got to do albums. And there's a bigger world out there. It's an international audience which we have to cater for. I mean, where do you... I mean, it might be the most daftest question ever, but where do you stand on that? Do, where do you think the industry is going? I think, you know, obviously, generally with music, this, it's, there's a lot of downloading. So the industry has, you know, bottomed out generally for the whole music industry, Asian or not. For So, therefore, the, for the Asian artists, you know, they had to make a big decision, which is, you know, do we go for the India market big time? Or not, because India's where the money's at, really. Yeah. You know? So for the artists, for the bigger artists who decided to go in that direction, it, I guess you know that's it's one way of getting paid for them. And uh, there, there's no, you know, so alternatively, there's the kind of like still trying to go into more of a bigger market kind of things, you know. So I mean, I, I just think that there's been less of a choice. So for smaller artists, it's been very difficult. So, yeah. so you know. If for you, are you still someone who's going to be banging out albums, um, or are you someone who's just going to now actually? Do you know what? I'm just going to put out singles here and there. No, for me, I'm definitely just on albums. You know, this obviously record companies are going to want to do singles, and people want to see videos. So, I mean, we're working on the Mordney video now. Okay. And uh, so, you know, people want to see those videos, and they want to see big videos as well. A small. So, I've got on this album, I've got probably about ten videos. Wow. Some massive kind of budget videos. Ten, seriously, ten videos? Probably. And because also, I mean, we've got some American artists and they've got videos they're making for their tracks okay. and stuff. So, I mean, there's, there's some street videos, there's some, you know, high end videos. So, there's a range of videos there. Brilliant. And probably at that time, that track will be called a single, maybe. Wicked. Cool. All right, we're going to get into another track. This is uh, one of the big tracks on the album from The Raj by Punjabi MC. If you've got any more questions, he's here for a little while. Get him in 81869, or you can email breakdown at bbc.co.uk. Alongside a short girl, this is Punjabi MC and Morning on the BBC Asian Network. <laughs> The vocals of a short girl, that's Punjabi MC from the album The Raj. I think this is going to be one of the big club anthems for uh, the next year or so, at least. We'll try and push it a bit longer than A that. little bit longer. At least, at least. We'll keep, we'll keep playing it and playing it. <laughs> and we got PMC in the studio as well. And we were just talking off of uh, while the track was on. You've actually never really used any UK vocalists, considering you are. Coventry born you're a Coventry man you know you're taking the sounds of Pongra around the world mm. you've never really worked with it's a true. Yeah, you've never really it's worked true. with someone like a Shin or you know or a Safri or a Malkit or anything like that yeah. I mean, there was going to be a Malkit sing a long project yeah, a long yeah, time yeah, ago yeah. but uh, is there any reason or is it just you one know of those things so, I'm thinking about it I mean there's always been label politics I guess you know um, because a lot of um, the UK singers myself included yeah. in the past we've kind of been with our little labels and stuff, you know. But um, no, I mean, there's no, there's no excuse for it because I think before it was like, you know, obviously grassroots. I went to Punjab, yeah, yeah, and then obviously I continued the vein from there because I met the contacts, whatever. Yeah, and then, um, but uh, and then I was just always thinking, you know, we'd, I'm going to do a UK, get a couple of UK singles, or do a UK album. And uh, but yeah, I think the time, I think the time should come, you know, definitely. I, th I think you know, Punjabi MC with UK vocals might just be something. Yeah, I think it might just be something big. All right, okay, and um, just gotta say a big up to Punjabi MC for actually getting Pangra music into WWE. Because that was, right, for me, one of the big moments. I'm yeah, a massive yeah. wrestling fan, right? Well, big up to the Kali for getting Punjabi <laughs> yeah, into WWE, well, wait, really. For Give him the big up. It was just wicked. It was really weird, because I, when he first came, they had this, obviously, traditional Sathar music going on, something out of, you know, something out of Indiana Jones, and I was like... Okay. No, but it's quite a few people have done uh, tribute songs for him. Yeah, but yeah. I think the, doing the actual entrance theme yeah, yeah. and watching, what, thousands of people in the crowd. Do you yeah. ever watch it? Have you ever actually seen the reaction yeah, you get? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mad. It's crazy. He's a crazy, crazy guy, man. He's <laughs> madness. We love him, don't we? <laughs> we love him, man. We love him. Yeah, yeah. All right. You know what? Thank you very much for taking time out to come on to the show. You know, I know you're a busy man, and uh, you know, thank you very much for coming you're welcome, on. You're welcome. It's all right. I just spend the whole day tweeting now, anyway. So you do. You're you're one of these guys who's just mad on Twitter, aren't you? Am I? Might because you know what? I've, I've been getting told off by um, my record company. <laughs> Why? 
No, because they said I'm not tweeting enough. And so I was thinking, you know what? I, I do tweet a, little, a few things. A few I, times. Actually, I actually think, because I like, look, we've known each other for a long time. I, I, the fact that you actually are doing it yourself. I just think it's it's just the most amazing thing because you know you're just someone who. Well, who else does it for the artists? Who, who else does it for the actually most of them do. Okay. I think most of them do it themselves. It's just otherwise the fa- I, I thought he was gonna you know. No 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 I just think that, no, no I just think just the fact that it's you who's doing it you know and it, for a lot of people to have that instant connection with a you know with a big artist any artist I think it's an amazing thing so. Yeah 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 I I, I mean you know sometimes I get asked a question or something and. I answer it so it's good it's good to it's good man get getting out of there alright before you go we do this with all our um, with all our guests there's a quick bungra breakdown quick fire yeah ok alright nothing too nothing too tasking yeah I knew first- he was going to make me sweat out some sort <laughs> it's getting too cool alright first thing that comes into your head yeah your favourite instrument <laughs> the dumbi dumbi alright pokori or smose Pokori. Yeah, pokori, man. Okay. Yeah. Whether it depends on the chutney as well. All right, all right. Definitely. You've got to be Imli Ali chutney, innit? Yeah. B21, with or without Jussie Sidhu? With. With. Eyebrows shaped or natural? On a girl or a guy? You're, you're, on you're... a guy, it's no, normal, natural. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, there's so many artists, but on man. on a girl, shaped. Yeah, of course. You know, there's so many artists who are doing it, you know? Yeah, no, I mean, I got nothing. I mean, you're saying my personal preference, you know? Uh, on a uh, guard, I'd say norms. You're, and you're, on a girl, I say definitely right. shape, but you know. So, Shinda Shinda, producer or singer? Um, Producer, I'd say. Good question, that. PA or live band? Live band. DJ or live band? Uh, DJ would smack it up any time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, singles or albums? Albums. All right, and considering it's a Sunday afternoon. You're on the BBC. Take that into consideration when you say this. Finish the sentence. Singers who use auto tuner should be. Uh, singers that use the auto tuner should be. Go on, fill it in, please, please, please. Don't say nothing bad. <laughs> should be left alone. That's nice. Your Pangra legend. Bendrakia. And finally, what is in Punjabi MC's musical heaven? Um. I, I, loads of music, just just any music, all music. Um, I'm into I'm into loads of stuff. You know, I've my, like uh, my, one of my favorite songs is "Loving You." Loving you, you know what I mean? Wow. I mean, when that comes on, it just reminds me of back in the days, like when I was a kid. Is that the first time you've ever sung on national radio? Smashed. That it. wasn't really singing. Smashed it. <laughs> I love it. Just in case guys didn't know which one it was, I had to do it. That's it, I'm tweeting. But JBMC sang on the BBC Asian Network. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, man. Have you got any messages for, you know, for the millions of uh, JBMC fans listening about now? Mm, oh, yeah. I mean, check, check me on my Twitter site, um, which is PunjabiMC1. And I've got my my record company, um, sorry, my uh, website, which is PMC Records. And yeah, just... I'm going to be going personal on that, you know what I mean? Wicked. It's going to be seven times a day. <laughs> Every day. Uh, dude, thank you very much for coming in. If you missed the interview, you can listen back to it for the next seven days online, bbc.co.uk slash Asian Network. Uh, it's Pajab BMC with the BBC Asian Network.